Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just another quick video. Today I'm going to show you how to screen mirror your phone or tablet to your Roku device. Before we get started, if you are trying to screen mirror your iPhone to a Roku device, you will have to download a third party application like this one here, TV mirror. You will have to download TV mirror for Roku on your iPhone or iPad. And I made a full video on how to do that. The link will be down in the description. If you have a phone that does not have a screen mirroring option, you may have to purchase a Google Chromecast. Chromecast is pretty inexpensive and you can find it at your local Walmart, Target, or Best Buy. And if it doesn't work out for you, make sure you keep your receipt and return it for a full refund. And I've made a full video on how to screen mirror using a Chromecast. The link to that will also be down in the description. All right, let's get started. We are going to start in the home screen. If you are not here in the home screen, all you have to do is press the home button on your remote. Next, we are going to go down to settings. Once you are in settings, you are going to go down to system. Once you are in system, you're going to go down to screen mirroring. Once you are in screen mirroring, you will see screen mirroring mode, prompt, always allow, and never allow. And right under screen mirroring mode, you will see screen mirroring devices. Here is where you will see blocked devices. Today we'll be using a Samsung smartphone. Depending on phone, your settings may be different. On my Samsung phone, all I'm going to do is swipe down, swipe to the left, and we will see and click on smart view. We are using a Roku Express, and you will see Express under available devices. All I'm going to do is click on Express and it will say connecting. And we have successfully screen mirrored. If you want your phone to go into landscape mode, all you have to do is rotate your phone and it will go into landscape. Now if your phone's not going into landscape, all you have to do is swipe down and you will see auto rotate. Make sure that auto rotate is on. If your phone has a USB type C port, you may consider using a USB type C to HDMI adapter and directly connect your phone to your TV using an HDMI cable. And I'll put a link to that adapter down in the description. If this video has helped you out, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I also want to thank all my new subscribers for helping me grow this channel. If you would like to see similar videos like these, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.